I hear a lot of guys calling and complain that they can't get on the boner lines. Well, there's an easy solution to that. If you do an algorithm, you'll notice that most of the boner liners are either from MLA City, uh-huh. they like wrestling, uh-huh. they had older men live with them when they were younger in their bedroom, uh-huh. they had their dad's keyboard stolen. Uh-huh. All those guys have in common. Listen, shut up for a second. I wanted to put in a uh, strong vote of support for the uh, cops, where are they now? idea <laughs> you gotta hire two three four producers to make it happen just do it do it get it done get out of my trailer i want you out yeah i got a separated at birth uh super mama saying that's just a television and then giggling <laughs> <laughs> and she sounds just like the the girl from hooters when arnold schwarzenegger calls the girl from hooters and says she needs discipline thanks for calling hooters okay how can i help you how are you good first i would like to just get to know you yeah. Well, um, sorry. No. No. I think an argument can be made that if you become addicted to meth, your laugh may become a cackle. Example A, Ted Golden Throat. <laughs> Example B, Intervention Now. Pills before bills, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mark was talking about shaving your pubes for Easter. Oh, yeah. I have alopecia. I only got one big, long pube. Hope you're happy I'm crying now. I feel traumatized, bruh. And now I'm tweeting about you, bruh. And now you're trending, bruh. And now your life is ruined, bruh. And now you're fired, bruh. Just wanted to defend Bobby Lee. He's a pretty funny dude. He's not Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock or any of the greats. But if you've never seen his performance in The Dictator. Uh, very drop-worthy stuff in there. I love a George Clooney. He's an old-fashioned movie star. He gay? He suck my dick? Ah, oh, man, hilarious. Oh, gosh. Listening to Mark talk about The Mandalorian is painful. <laughs> Folks, Tan was never part of the children of the watch like The Mandalorian or Din Djarin is. She is a Mandalorian. There are different religious or whatever kind of sex to the Mandalorians, all right? The children of the Watch are a religious zealot sect that believes that they have to keep their helmets on. The rest of the Mandalorians don't. What a dork. It's just an offshoot. They're all Mandalorians. Those whack jobs keep their helmets on. The normal ones take their helmets off. Go outside, nerd. Get out. Go! To be part of the whack job, children of the watch group, you have to keep your helmet on. This is the way. That was from Star Wars. What a nerd. My uh, wife the other day told me my foreplay was so bad, it's more like one play. And all I could think of is Kwame. <laughs> ha ha. My game is off. My game is off. Ha ha. How about Drew uh, just, you know, pretending like he's never seen Lemon Party before and just saying, oh hot. A good old-fashioned lemon party. Yeah, right. You were waiting for it to show up. You were so gay now. Listening about the uh, Dalai Lama. There is an explanation for this. If you look up how he actually became the Dalai Lama, it has something to do with when the current Dalai Lama dies, some group goes out and finds some kid that's born around the same time, and they make him the Dalai Lama. Hey, there he is. Now, what kind of childhood do you think that child had? Probably none. Therefore, he's a lot like Michael Jackson. Yeah. He never had a childhood, which explains his behavior. Well, that makes you a pedophile. So Drew was sort of cute in his innocence and ignorance of, oh, my God, how did Donald Trump do it? He's 77, and he's going all these places, and then he has a rally. How does he have the energy? Boy, it's tough. Um, He's a cokehead. Are you serious? <laughs> a, a billionaire at the height of his powers in the 80s in New York, and he's still a billionaire? Uh, yeah, he's a cokehead, and he's still doing it. I'm thinking maybe I'd like to try me some of that cocaine. Yeah, I'm listening to the show, and I'm hearing Eli and Trudy, and you guys talk about, like, Bud Light. And, uh, I'm just going to hang up. Fuck Bud Light. Stinking idiot. Fuck Anheuser-Busch. Is Eli fucking blind talking about corporations targeting the gay community? Do we not see every single gay Pride Month, they all change their logos to the Pride flag, or every single commercial has 
a gay couple or a trans couple. Come on, Eli. I love lesbians. Eli, Kid Rock was not shooting an AK-47. That was a completely different rifle, completely different caliber. You people in the media got to call everything that is a gun an AK-47. Completely different. It's like calling the Red Wings the Pistons, okay? Maybe you can get that. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't. Yeah, the Kid Rock thing with the Bud Light was pretty fucking stupid. I'll admit that. I mean, it was kind of a low rent move and all that, but, you know. Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. He's making fun of young girls and young women, Eli, you dumb shit. Can't you see the fucking subtlety of it? She plays the hysterical little teenage girl and young woman. It's setting back women 10, 15, 20 years. I love watching women's golf. Yeah, so maybe have uh, your boy Eli there stick to sports and not fucking politics. Stay in your lane, bro. Super stoked I got a fast forward button on this. We don't need Eli coming on here fucking spewing a bunch of fucking leftist fucking bullshit. Bullshit. So how about we keep Eli fucking sticking to sports and not his fucking stupid politics? Idiot. I know small hand Brandon won't put this on the voter line. It's nice to see you again, Mr. Insult. But... I will say that you guys need to cancel the Eli Tuesday, Monday, fucking Sunday, whatever goddamn stupid day that is, because literally Eli is a waste of time. He's a waste of time. At this point, I'm kind of saying that he's a waste of space. I'm a bitch. Eli, I just want to tell you something. You suck. Okay? You like the fact that the fucking Bud Light is that they put a fucking girl on the can? You like that? You like that? The $5.7 trillion in the LGBTQ community? What about all the rest of the fucking community, Eli? What about the trillions of dollars that's left for everybody else? The normal Bud Light pe drinking people? You need to relax. Eli is, is the problem in this world. A, a guy like Eli. Idiot. April 10th show. About 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Audio separated at birth. Eli trying to pronounce LGBTQ and the New Jersey Turnpike guy trying to pronounce memorabilia. The, the LG, LGB, I can't get it. Memorabilia. You know, Barbara, he's calling in 97.1. Hello, this is Barbara. I haven't heard her voice in a while. She usually keeps it pretty calm. Mm. But if she got really pissed off at Caputo or something, I wonder if she would sound like Jackie. When she's upset. I don't care what anybody says. I'm done with it. I remember once we convinced our bus driver to do a Brody in the snow, and she did, and the whole bus did a 360. Hold on to your dick! Came one foot from smoking a car. It was the greatest thing ever. She cried. She was like, oh my God, I'm so getting fired. And we were like, there's no way in hell we're going to tell on you. It was fucking awesome. You're so full of shit, Jackson. Oh, my God. I used to torture the bus drivers. I hated them. Those poor fucking people. We do not treat them well, poor bus drivers. I'm ready to walk off this goddamn bus right now and let you people walk the fuck home. Hey, I just uh, noticed that uh, the bus driver lady had said, God dang it, I can smell it. She sounds like Napoleon Dynamite's grandmother. God dang it, I can fucking smell it! Make yourself a dang quesadilla! Separation at birth with Nisha Barton and the bus driver. God dang it, I can fucking smell it! I knew it! Audio separated at birth, that bus driver yelling at the kids, and PC principal. I don't want to hear another goddamn word out of your mouth. Hey, Leslie, shut your fucking mouth! I have to say, that bus driver is... Pure audio gold. I'm allergic to the shit. I, I can't even keep count of how many drops are possible in everything I'm hearing from her. My foot's going to be so far up your goddamn ass, it's going to dangle out your goddamn nose. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.